Praise the Lord. God is good and gracious. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections as we continue meditating upon the word of God together. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We are looking at Ezekiel chapter 34. So far we have looked at verse 11 to verse number 14 where we have seen great and wonderful things. The Lord reminding us that he is ready to find us, you know, to reach out unto us as his people. And two, he's telling us that he is ready not only to find us, but also to rescue us. We are bound or we are uh, struggling with so many things, but the Lord is ready and very, very willing to rescue us. Yesterday, we stopped at the point where we said that he is also ready to bring us back and not only so to feed us with the best pasture. Today we are looking at the same text, the same chapter, Ezekiel 34, verse number 15 and 16. The Bible says, I will feed my flock and I will cause them to lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek that which was lost and bring again that which was driven away. And I will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. Praise be to God. I just want us to underline how the Lord keeps saying, I will, I will, I will. I will find my flock and I will rescue them. I will bring back my flock and I will feed them with the best pasture. Now he says, I will feed my, my flock and will cause them to lie down, says the Lord God. What does this tell us? The Lord is reminding us that he is ready to give us that tender care. And this is tender care not given to us as a Matitude, this is individualized kind of attention that the Lord is giving unto us. He's saying, you know, I will feed my flock and I will cause them to lie down, says the Lord. Remember in verse number 14 again, the Lord had talked about causing his people to lie down in the best kind of a uh, uh, fold giving us the best comfort. And uh, he's telling us that he's ready to meet with us, to give us that personalized attention where the broken limb will be bound up. Every sickness will be treated with appropriate measures of healing. And he says, I will cause them to lie down. This refers to that serenity that peace, that safety, you know, that protection, that point where we purpose that, yes, what the Lord has done for me, I can only depend upon him, trust in him, rely on him. And this is the good, great shepherd. Verse 16, I will seek that which was lost and bring again that which was driven away. Great promise on restoration. That which was lost, the Lord is ready to bring it back. That which was driven away, he is willing to bring it back. And I will bind, you know, other, other, other versions talk about, I will bandage the, their wounds. I will bind up that which was broken and I will strengthen that which, you know, was sick. And he gives a clear distinction between the sick, the uh, unattended, and all that has been, all those who have been forsaken. He gives a distinction between them and those that are being called the fat and strong. Remember previously we said that these leaders, these people that God had entrusted unto, uh, you know, them, his flock, they became self-seeking leaders. They were selfish. They did not bother themselves with the flock. And so the Lord is saying, those who look strong and fat, I will feed them with judgment. 
He gives a clear cut. Those who are sick, those who are weak, those who have been forsaken, I will come in for them. And he's helping us to see that he, when he comes to us, he comes to us as a great shepherd. He comes to us to restore us. He comes to us to give us great hope and to fulfill his promises in our lives. The Lord continues to say, I will, I will, I will. The many I will belongs to you. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. Shalom.